How's it going guys? This is Lance from TechShift and today I just want to give you a little video on what I use my MacBook Pro for. Now I'm making this video because ever since I've uploaded my MacBook Pro review and as well as my um, MacBook Pro 13 versus 15 inch video, I've received a lot of questions uh, as to what MacBook Pro you should get, whether or not this will work, whether or not I feel as though this machine suffice for me. So I figured I can answer a lot of questions just by running through all the apps that I use. This might be a quick video, just really quick. So here is my MacBook Pro right there, as you can see in the back. This is a 13-inch mid-tier model, Haspel edition. And I always have it connected to, when I'm at home, I always have it connected to my 24-inch monitor. And I had a lot of questions about that as well. This is the IGZO EV2436W. It's a very nice monitor. So first and foremost, of course, I use a web browser, and that's Safari. Now, I use Safari, I'll have 10 tabs open, watching a 1080p video, no slowdowns, so that everything works fine there. I use Skype for video chatting, and of course I use iTunes to listen to music. I don't have any music right here, but I do have music, don't worry guys. So that's the, pretty much the basics of what I use. YouTube, iTunes, Skype. As far as note taking, I'm a college student, so I do take a lot of notes. And for TechShift, I do a lot of writing as well, so I try to delegate myself to each program as much as I can. So I use Evernote. It's a great note taking app. I use for more basic notes I just use the notes app that comes with the Mac. I use it's not a note taking app, I use Excel. Not too much because I did get a question on one of my videos as to whether or not Excel would work with a thousand lines. I don't really use Excel that much but as far as doing basic Excel work it does run fine. I use, of course, Word, Microsoft Word, and that runs great as well. Now, most of the apps that I use, I'm pretty much going to say the same thing, that it runs pretty smooth. Now, I use Word over, what is it, Mac Pages, because after they release, release their, when they, I want to say they, I mean Apple, when Apple released their new um, pages, there was a lot of bugs in it, and I read the reviews, which were generally negative, but I thought I'd give it a chance, so I used Pages by Apple. And I kid you not, after typing for about half an hour, the, the program crashed on me and I lost whatever I wrote. I was like, well, I guess I'm going back to Microsoft Word and I'm not going back. So yes, as far as note taking and basic classwork stuff, that's what I use it for. Well, that's what I use. Next up I have, oh, again, as I'm a college student and I'm triple majoring right now, but one of my majors is computer science. And we do do a lot of coding. So... In class, we actually have been using BlueJ, which is a different IDE, which I don't have right here, but I do use IDE. I mean, I do use the BlueJ IDE, which is very simple for new Java learners. I also use Eclipse, and I've been trying to get into BlackBerry programming, so I've been using their IDE, the Momentix, which is it's a very sweet um, IDE, which again I haven't used too much, but I'm trying to get into it. But I threw it on the list of things that I use because that's something that I'm currently tampering with. I use Xcode, which is if you want to program anything for Mac, iPhone, iPad, then you're going to be using Xcode. It's their IDE, and it's uh, this is like a love or hate relation because I know a lot of people who just hate it, but I think it's, a, it's actually very nice. So, yes, as far as the programming side of me, that's pretty much the apps that I use. Next up. I do I do a little bit of photo work, nothing professional, of course, but I do use Lightroom. It's, very, it's fairly simple to adjust tones and such, such. So I use Lightroom by Adobe, and I use this application that I got in the App Store. It's called Photo, F O T O R. It's a very simple app to again do your basic stuff, it's things that you can do on Lightroom, but this is even easier, pretty much. It's pretty much you drag a picture in and you adjust things by a little slider which is kind of what Lightroom is but you get the point and you can also make like a little collage out of images with photo and yeah that's pretty much it I don't use Photoshop but wait I have used Photoshop on this computer and it does run well but I don't use it on an everyday basis but for one of my classes we had to do a couple couple of advertising posters so I did use um, Photoshop for about a whole semester 
yeah, it did run very well. Again, I didn't do anything insane in Photoshop. I was just pretty much trying to learn the basics. But yeah. And of course, finally, I use my, of course, as you guys know, my Mac 4 Final Cut Pro. The newest one, 10. And this is a question that I get a lot as is it's whether or not Final Cut Pro runs well. Because, to be honest, that's the reason why I got a Mac is to run Final Cut Pro. It just seems as though it's a very easy to use video editor. Now you can arguably say that it's, it's not professional, but in my honest opinion, it's how it works for me. If I want to cut cut up and if I want to cut up a video and edit it simply, quick and simple, then I do like it. it's easy. You know, I'm not trying to become uh, I don't know some super professional videographer. I just do what I can for you guys and you know I do my basic video editing on the side and do a couple music videos nothing nothing crazy but for what I do it works very well as you see I'm scrubbing through videos there's me going kick 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 <laughs> you know I throw in a time I find different layers fine I can add video effects I can add titles just fine I'm working with 1080p clips from my camera um no letdowns yet guys but yeah this is just a quick video as to what I use my MacBook Pro for. I do use it for other apps, of course, but this is just my main go-to every day. The things that I would normally use for class, for my texture, for anything. Um, yeah, if you guys have any vi uh, videos, you guys have any questions, or you, if you want me to test out a specific app that I can download online, if it's free, then I'll definitely give it a shot. Um, yeah, any questions at all, let me, let me know, and I hope this helped you guys out. Have a nice one. See you.